Hi, it's me, Van. And <clears throat> I was not at PAX um, Australia, unfortunately, because I don't have the kind of money to travel all over this place and that place. But I did watch the panel. And the two frames for this year were two new frames for this year. The first one we already know as the bird frame. Doesn't have an official name. Has an image. Has a better image. It, you know, it's uh, taken from Deb's stream. That was shown off. You know, we're going to try to change the colors because right now people argue that the color scheme is too much like Banshee's. But yeah, she is the bod frame is a female, in case you can't tell. And she's going to have a pretty cool sequencer of sorts, you know, so you can like play certain notes and certain orders that you want when her abilities play. It's going to add a whole new level of customization to Warframe entirely, which is fine and dandy, but it's going to take them quite a while. So, in the meantime, then I release, yes, another frame before her, and he is an infested frame. This is what he looks like. Here you can see he's not much infested at all. Here you can see he's like fully infested. I don't know if that's like a extreme power up mode or you know the longer he's in an infested area the more he'll be infested. I don't know. But let's take a look at what we believe to be his first ability. Infestation Rapture. I feel like the name is subject to change. If it stays, that's pretty cool. Wave of infested, uh, wave of infestation erupts from the ground. A few mischief cloned repeatedly and um, meshes rise from the ground and or scale up then fall back down. So picture, um, picture Frost's, um, you know, ice wave attack thing, but infested style. So, yeah, I can only assume that it would do gas or poison damage in fact, and do poison, right? I don't know. I can, who knows what damage it would do, but I think it looks pretty cool. An infested version of Frost Attack, that's pretty cool. Now, these um, pictures aren't particularly in any order because we don't know which abilities are which, but apparently this is going to be an infestation pod. <coughs> Sits on floor base penetrates for a bit of leeway, of course, it spawns infestation maggots. So those maggots that the infected spawn that get on you, this pod is going to be able to spawn them and hit the maggots. Infestation maggots spawn from infestation pod, reuse, um, so basically we don't know what it does yet. We don't know if it's going to drain their health slowly or what it's going to do. It would be kind of cool if it drained their health slowly killing them. And But it might be OP. Who knows? The next, let's move on. Infestation Parcile. Thrown like a grenade, a few will be attached to the Wolfram belt erupts into a ball of infestation <laughs> on contact. Okay, so you know what, this immediately, Batman, 
utility belt. I didn't even know Wolfram's had belts. Maybe it's just a figure of speech. But now I kind of want to see someone make a drawing of a Wolfram with just like Batman's utility belt on it. And then it can take out <laughs> infestation and throw it. Yeah, don't mind me. And then let's move on to the last one. Infestation tinder drills. This is just a concept art. It might not be, you know, this detailed. It might be more detailed than this, less detailed, who knows. A whirling ball of tinder cores. Yay, more tinder cores. I feel like Hydroid and this will make a big, ah, never mind. Okay, so anyway, so he can throw a ball of tentacles at his opponent. That's pretty cool. It grabs enemies within range. The actual tentacles, um, tentacles that grabs enemies, tentacles, I don't know, can be more simple and straight. Those are mainly just for show. So, yeah. This is just for show, it could be more simple and straightforward, like, you know, just throw something, it latch on, like, I don't know if anyone's ever seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer when Warren tried to throw the thing at, um, Will Willow, you know, the magic, bubblegum, ice, whatever thingy. And it grabbed onto her like that. And then slowly engulfed her whole body. I wonder if this would do something like that. And uh, yeah, actually, <coughs> that's all I have. Two new frames. Now, DE, they said yes to 2016 for both of these frames. But one, they said it a little hesitantly. And two, I don't know if they realize, but there's not that much time in 2016 left. It's already November. It seems like they have most of the abilities for the um, infested frame. So I expect the infested frame to be out before the end of this year. But I don't know if I expect the... Um, Bud frame to also be up before the end of this year. But then again, the bud frame is in the exact opposite position, I feel like. They have the character model and everything for the bud frame. They just don't have the ability. For this, they have the ability. They just don't have the frame model. So I wonder what will happen. Either way, on console, I'm not a Expecting, um, I'm not expecting either one till late December, early January, maybe mid-January for the first one and maybe um, close to the end of January for the second one. Consoles are delayed quite a bit and I know they'll be pushing to get the War Within out to consoles before Christmas. So, I do not expect us to get any new frames on consoles, but on PC, I expect them to at least get the infected frame. I could be wrong, but see, with the bad frame, they have a lot of, you know, things to work out since it has a sequencer that's new to Wolfram. So, yeah. That's just my opinions on the take. I thought I'd show you. Let's look at the bot frame again. See, they have the actual character model and everything. She seems cool and everything. Here, they don't... Uh, they might I somewhat have the character model. They don't fully yet, but, you know, they have the ability done past, and that's cool, right? So... Which one is going to come out first? We already know that the infected one is going to come out first. Are they both going to come out this year? 
I would not get my hopes up. I'm not being a um, naysayer. I just, you know, want to be realistic with you guys. Don't get your hopes up for both frames this year. Will it be cool? Is it possible? Yes. But, I would cut them a little slack. They did say it hesitantly. They were put on the spot with the question. In my opinion. And that just, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Later.